as I was saying previously, the consequences of this soil would be immense. From the economic destruction it caused to crops, to the human damage to the lungs of children. Let's take a look. So, the poverty and displacement of the Depression was a serious issue that began for farmers first. The storms and droughts um, destroyed their crops, which were their source of livelihood. Since they could not grow crops, they couldn't pay their debts. And without that, many of these families lost their farms. Uh, the families who lost farms often found themselves uh, heading to California or to the deep American Deep South to work as migrant workers, picking crops grown by large planters since they already had agricultural skills. Photos like the one you see over on the uh, right-hand side of this page are common of families loading everything they had into a into a car with maybe a wagon attached to the back and heading off to try to salvage some sort of life for themselves. Now, there were other Dust Bowl outcomes. One of the major outcomes was a health catastrophe known as dust lung. Now, a thing you may not may or may not know about humans and other mammals is most mammals, when you open them up, whether this is a human being or a cat dissection or something like that. I can say this from cat dissections and whatnot. I, I haven't personally had the privilege of sitting in on a human autopsy. Uh, what you do is, when you open up um, a mammal... Their inside of their lungs is supposed to be sort of a pinkish, purplish sort of color. If it's another color, that indicates that there is some sort of a problem. Now, in miners, it's called miner's lung or black lung. Sometimes called coal lung, which comes from inhalation of coal dust in the mines. But an even more aggressive version of this catastrophe is something they call dust lung or brown lung which occurred with families living in the Dust Bowl. Children as young as five would show incredibly thick buildups of sod, of dirt, inside the small capillaries and areoles of the lungs, the uh, bronchioles, as they're called, the uh, small air holes within the lungs that typically open up to allow exchange of oxygen with the blood were often coated with dirt from the fields that had blown in during the night. And as a result of this, many children uh, died, basically, of a sort of quasi-pneumonia. And the other issue were hobos. Hobos were homeless migrants who traversed the nation by riding illegally on freight cars. Pay attention to this trend of hoboing, because it will come back later on in the Depression. So... I hope you all found this subject interesting. See you all next time.